really like Gilbert Ryle's chapter uh, in The Concept of Mind, if you're familiar with that. He has a chapter on imagination where he says the imagination really is grounded in yeah, bodily practices. So we look at how children start to imagine. And uh, they might imagine in, in their play, you know, they play at being a bear. And he says, well, what, do they, what does that mean to imagine being a bear? It means the, the child starts gnashing its teeth and growling and, you know, using claws. <laughs> it's all about movement and action, taking action. And that's, that's where imagination begins. And all that kind of manipulation that we do at the beginning uh, when we start to, to think in a mathematical way, that also ties into movement and action, bodily action, which then sort of is the basis for for more complex kinds of thinking. So that that at least I mean there's a number you know and I say I say a good number of people who are trying to make that argument in the book and uh, have pointed out the connection, the close connection between bodily movement, action, solving mathematical problems and so forth.